Hey, hey, hey! Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bubble Tea's Gaming. Today, after KVK, oh my god, I finally figured out the new battle report system. It's actually a much better system than the older system. So, without further ado, here is the battle reports. So I will only be showing uh, battle reports that I join in and there apparently has been a big bug during the KVK that I'll explain later. Uh, don't worry, they're looking into fixing it so I'm sure they will educate compensation and stuff though but it's a bug that only affects like the top players in the game. Once I explain it, you will find out that why it doesn't affect it. So first thing is, Rally Tanks got buff. No, this is an example of the bug. <laughs> don't don't look at this report. So Rally Tanks got buff in this uh new battle report though. So uh which is a good one. So here. So this guy is uh what you call that a traditional rally tank. So it won't show the bonus and the stats if you look. Uh all three lines got hit because uh Orion uh activated the dragon scale. Uh, and front line dies as the same though. So the, the guy did not get completely wiped. So individually, so this is 1.2. So if you divide this by 5, uh, each regiment, 5 should be 1 million. Then there's no regiment that will get com get completely wiped. So let's, uh, without further ado, here's the battle report though. So sec controls uh, line 1. Julian line 2, Annie line 3, Layla line 4, and Chris line 5. And in line 1, it's A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D is determined by your formation. So your formation infantry calf. So infantry will be A, calf will be B. And, and likewise for Orion. So, so let's look at this. So uh, no change. Okay, here, there's a drastic big difference. Okay, so right now, uh, I realized that uh, all commanders, in the past, they used to be able to only bring up to 550, but right now, SEC is commanding at least uh, 3.4 million troops. So when you command that much, your commander damage is uh, now buff. So rally tanks get a buff in this patch though. So look at that. Uh, if you look at the results, right? You look at the one that uh, obviously has the most de death one. Let me take a quick gander. Okay, so this. So when you see a lot of eliminated, it means that the commanders have actually uh, proc their skill. So... Uh, if you look at the all the rest, these are troops attacking, but this is when commanders are actually attacking. So when commanders attack, you can see a significant difference. In the past, it wasn't that much though. Like you see, oh, cute 20k, cute 30k, but right now it's getting like up to an insane amount. So due to the fact that the commanders no longer bring in like 555,000k, they now bring in 3 million and if you're rally, they bring in 1 point something. Their damage output is absolutely insane though. So like I said from the previous video, uh, it's actually all about buffing the commanders. All this is actually just uh, have a reason to buff the commander. So if you look at here, which I expanded on. Layla deals 36 while sec deals 20 so Layla is a uh, cavalry so it counters so it kills more sec is going even so it kills this and if you see a spear, spear commander it will be three times of this so it'll be about 12k or less so let's see if i can find a julian one for you uh, let me see julian 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay look at the big the big lineup see yep, yep divide by three so right now, uh, your commander's counters uh, actually drastically uh, improve. So is the countering for commanders also takes into account the troop type. In the past, they do, but due to the fact the commanders never actually like uh, bring in anything. So they don't really see a significant difference. But now when they're bringing 3 million and like, okay, in the past, they only can bring 55k. But look at this, Julian, Blue, targeting is bringing 100k that's close to 2x the the amount for in the past man so right now 
this patch is all the same like what i said nothing different they're just using this patch to buff the formation all still applies though so i heard saying that something like if uh your troop type gets hit out it actually bumps it out but here you go let me sh i think i saw one now let me see this let me see if i can play it for you okay guys Okay, yeah, chunga. See, uh, two, two type. Beow. So this on the bottom it shows my commander. So Annie, Andrea, Chris, Layla, and uh, Julian. See. Okay, in this report, my Andrea get kicked out though. Even though she still has pavilion lines, but due to the fact that the front line of Andrea is infantry and she is infantry, she gets uh, bumped out already. So this is something that uh, needs to be explored, but you, uh, you generally get the fact so that now if you use infantry commanders as your front line and when that troop type, like for example A2 like in that video gets killed off, they automatically retreat. So the buffing up front line when you put too many of the same commanders of the same type they may easily get kicked out though so if i were you if this changes so i would actually position my more damage dealer uh second row so that it my front line dies but they don't get kicked out so this is the what i think the combat system actually does so okay so basically everything's the same except that it buffs uh, commander damage. When you buff commander damage due to it, it bring able to bring in more troops, uh, you have this equation. Look, 2021. Hey, where is it? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So hello. So, what is new? Commanders of the type when they are specific. Troop type that they command gets wiped. They leave the battlefield. So, like I said, when they leave the battlefield, due to the fact that now all the commander damage actually has in uh improved, you have more of an incentive to keep them in the battlefield. So, what does this mean? More commanders on the second and third line needs to be explored so so if so for example let's say that video okay uh, let me put on notepad 2020 Boop. that video okay hold on, hold on okay uh so let's say uh andrea and chris is in my front row then andrea infantry Andrea is infantry gets totally kicked off due to the fact that these people kill it really fast. Andrea gets bumped out and I lose one commander while they still have five active commander dealing me damage. So if uh, Andrea get kicked out, perhaps now it would be uh, more incentivized to have the two fake fronts. So maybe Tarex uh, and uh, the who was the guys and Nikachu Nachu's uh, strategy is valid though. Because right now, since commander deals such a huge damage, you have more incentive to put your five commanders on your second line. So this needs to be explored, but for now, I just leave it up in the notepad, notepad 2020. It needs to be explored. Commanders now bring in more troops, causing more damage. So what does this mean? So rally tanks get a buff. So in this patch, rally tanks get a buff while zero and banners get a debuff. So if you are a rally tank, this is the optimal time to get back into the game. It's actually super uh, exciting. So the rest is not that much difference. So after looking at the battle report, obviously I won't show you any more battle report because I think it's uh, boring and you guys want to get to the TLDR and you don't have like 31 hour to sit behind me to watch as I analyze. So the, what does this mean? So for my five commanders, I probably am going to switch them to their second line and have some troops in the front. Or 
I'm going to rework this so that I only have one troop in the front so when it gets bumped out I will still have the other four troops. So this is the major change in the battle log though. I'm actually quite surprised to see Andrea exiting and I checked the logs she actually did get all her A1 troops get killed out. So if Julian is spear so even though the infantry gets totally wiped due to the spear belonging to Julian I think he still stays though. So I think this is how the battlefield uh, works. So the biggest thing is uh, more about the positioning. Uh, positioning is now random, so I uh, haven't seen much effect, but this is the biggest uh, takeaway change though. So due to the fact that... Wait, let me, see, let me pull this out. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, due to the fact that this is uh, like this, so it's basically my summary. Everything else still the same, except that now your commanders, you must... Uh, carefully select the formation and the commander to show how much you value the commander damage which is quite a lot though because if you look at battle reports when the commander damage swing it, it actually swings for a lot more damage than regular troop damage so they're actually buffing up commanders okay so this is uh what i, I discovered trust far so i just uh talk i made a video about it and uh, the other thing is the bug so this uh should never happen like i had only like 12 million and uh 10 million here with uh, only one or two guys reinforcing me with t3 so the bug is when uh you have level 4 julian and the other side activates the uh, dragon skill your julian deals insane amount of damage so like let me see uh let me see if i can find a nice one for you guys yep ay, 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 ay. see uh whew. where is it uh yeah, it's somewhere around here, but uh, it's gonna get hot fixed very soon. The devs are looking to it. Another one is the Rob Stark Cavalry. Now, since that each individual cavalry uh considers a uh, attack, so instead of uh, attacking like one per second, they attack like five per second. It's actually insane. But these two bugs are currently getting fixed soon, so don't abuse them and don't level four your Julian after seeing this battle report. The bug is so uh, evident that uh, Orion was managed able to cap a uh, rally from Savo because Savo activated the blue dragon skill and Orion had level 4 Julian. Okay, so this is uh, the TLDR and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is something interesting that I find. So the rally tanks get a buff and perhaps your commander uh, allocation needs to be in line with your formation now, which is what I think the big takeaway is. Alright, thank you guys. Ciao.